Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So we've got another parcel come through the letterbox. And uh, yeah, it did come through the letterbox as well. It was real and truly squished, but yeah, they popped it. So we have a diamond painting. We have a little packet. Okay, let's see what's in these. So we'll have a look at the packet first. This looks interesting. This feels a bit strange. What on earth have I been ordering? And uh, oh, yeah, this is what it is. So I thought, aha, I've been waiting for this for quite a while. This was ordered on the 22nd of February and it arrived on the 15th of March. So, well, actually, no, not too long then, really, is it? But I'm always a bit wary, you know, when you order um, really small things, that if they do send it on its own in a little packet, then it can get lost, you know, in the post. Because they're only little packets, aren't they? But as it was, they put this one in with another bag as well. Uh, and this is from the Take Wealth store. And with taxes, it cost me £2.74. Okay, so let's have a look. Oh, that's uh, clever. It's got a bag that's open at both ends. <laughs> that was easy to open. Maybe they've heard that I struggle with bags. Um, oh, okay. It's not quite what I was expecting it to be. Um, ah, right. Okay. So it's a drill pen. Um, I thought it was going to be something different. I thought I was ordering something that uh, was similar to my pickup pen that I use, my silhouette pickup pen that has the blue tack in it. And you turn the top and the blue tack comes out the end. And I thought that's what this was going to be. And now I've looked at it closely. See that all it is is just a different shaped drill pen. Um, yeah, that's that's just me not reading it properly or not looking at it properly. Um, yeah, I was thinking it was going to be something different. So I've just got a new drill pen. I suppose that that bit's not going to fall off the desk because it's got, um, what are we, six shapes? Is that a pentagon? Not quite sure. <laughs> it's a long time since I was at school. Not quite sure why there's a hole there. No. Um, but yeah, it's just a basic drill pen. This doesn't move at all. Um, it actually, it's very, very light to hold. If you have trouble holding on to a heavy pen, then this is very, very light. I mean, it's not going to... That's just a cover for it, really. Um, I suppose you're just covering up your wax on a night so that it doesn't go dry, but... Yeah, so that's a little bit of a disappointment, but that's my fault for ordering it, thinking it was something that it wasn't. Uh, okay, but yeah, so it's a nice new drill pen. <laughs> so let's have a look at the diamond painting. Um, I have opened this one again just to make it a bit easier so we can see what we've got. So we have a diamond painting. We have our drills in bags. We've got a toolkit. Right. And we have got an inventory sheet with this one. I do like getting a separate inventory sheet because I do tend to make them that little bit bigger. Albeit this one, they've just blown that up. Um, from probably, the, yeah, they've sort of photocopied that um, or taken a photograph of that and then just blown it up. So it is actually quite blurry so it's not increased the quality of it it's just made it bigger and sort of blared it out a bit really uh, but yeah you can see the little picture there and I just couldn't resist it I mean how <laughs> ridiculous is that it's a giraffe in a taxi <laughs> and yeah I, I've got quite a few coins again to spend um on AliExpress I do still go I keep saying I'm not gonna look I'm not gonna look and I have been really really good um and then I just happened to pop on the other night and uh, I've got a lot of coins to spend um and uh, yeah this one came up it's 35 colors 35 40 same as ever but it is double-sided tape um but yeah I just thought oh I've got to have that I just love that a giraffe in a taxi <laughs> Oh yeah, right, let's just oop, that just flipped off there. Great, it's trying to get me now. Okay, that's because I laughed at it. So let's open this canvas and have a look, see what we've got. Oops, 
I am joined by the lovely uh, Millie Moo today who is just inspecting my bin that I'm putting all my bits and pieces into. I'm not quite sure what she's expecting to find but she does like to have a good look. Okay, let's just roll this one out and flatten it on the top. And let me just check where this one was from. I know this one was an absolute bargain, um, even though it is double-sided tape. So it's from, oh, it's from AZQSD. So I've had quite a few from there. Uh, and this one only cost me £2.17. So I say it's worth it for the drills, if nothing else. Um, oh, that's a big bag. That's going to be... Uh, the background i think it's quite a sort of a black and white picture with that splash of color on it so that will look quite nice okay let me just uh, undo this one and let it rest a little bit oh, take the tape off as well so, yeah um i have stopped looking at the moment it must be a couple of weeks uh, since i uh, last looked at the paintings on aliexpress i'm doing it the other way this time look <laughs> So we can see giraffe. Just move that out of the way. I don't want that sticking to it while I've got this cover up. So there's a, I've got paper stuck to it. Oh, that wouldn't be good. There he is look, looking out. I presume it's like New York because it looks like a New York taxi. Is that the Brooklyn Bridge in the background possibly here? I'm not sure. I've not been to New York. I've seen pictures, seen lots of pictures. Anyway, let me give you a view of him that way around. So, yeah, I think this is uh, New York, but I just thought, imagine driving along and seeing a giraffe looking out of a taxi. I just think that's brilliant. I've seen the one on um, YouTube, the little short animal clips, where there's uh, a guy driving along uh, in one of the hot sandy countries and uh, there's a camel looking out the car window as he's going along. So things like this can happen, but I don't think you'd get a giraffe in a taxi. It's like zipper too long. I'm still not quite sure how they managed to get a camel in a taxi. <laughs> so let's just flatten this one down, try and keep it straight as possible. It's come in nice condition. There's no bumps or uh, dents in it anyway. Now then, the idea with this is to keep it straight to this side. Oh, Millie's having a bit of a whinge. What's the matter? Are you having a bit of a whinge? Okay. And pop this down. Maybe she she wants to play with the giraffe. Are you wanting the giraffe? She's more into toy crocodiles really than giraffes. I don't think we've had a giraffe toy, have we? <laughs> oh dear, she's looking at me as though I've gone completely mad. Okay, I know she's having a whinge. Right, so let's flatten that back down, okay, and with it being a poured glue, I would suspect it will be a 30 by 40, but we'll double check, and I've got the wrong end of the tape measure as well, so yep, it is, oh, it's 39 centimetres, so we've lost a centimetre by mm, about 20, oh, from there, I'm just looking at the picture by about 29 and a half centimeters. So it does say on a lot of the websites to allow at least a centimeter um, sort of grace edging on it so that uh, it's, if it's not quite to scale, but so uh, yeah, okay, let's have a look at this. Drills. Okay. Quite a muted colour palette apart from the giraffe, I think. So they've all come in. Oh, we've got a few escapees. Let me just grab a little tray. Okay, let me just grab these off here. Mind you, not that an odd one matters. Um, I've never run out on an AZQSD canvas. But there's always a first time. So let's look at these carefully then. Um, I will check them off 
with the inventory sheet uh, once I've stopped filming. I won't do it on film. So we've got a lot of 3865 there, which is going to be mainly the sky part, I think, up here around the giraffe's head there, which will make him stand out nicely. We've got all your giraffe colours, your oranges and your peaches. So we've got, uh, yeah, it is a square as well. I do apologise if I didn't say it was a square. Um, I think some of these as well actually will be the background um, shading as well. You do tend to find that pinks quite often appear in uh, black and white photographs. Quite strange. But yeah, because these certainly won't be all on the giraffe. So we're going to have, uh, yeah, I would think the fawns and probably the pinks. Got a little bit of yellow there, which is a lovely sunny yellow taxi colour. Which I believe a lot of the taxis in New York are yellow. If you watch the television, they are anyway. <laughs> okay, and a burgundy colour there. So that's all sort of your brighter colours. And then your more muted, ooh, there's another one there as well. More muted colours. Didn't see any of those open, but we'll keep an eye out. Pop the big bag in there. The big one can go in there. And uh, yeah, all your greens and greys. And oh, there's quite a few of them escaped. There's been a bit of a party going on in this bag on the way from China, I tell you. Goodness me, look at all these that have escaped. What I might do. Um, rather than try and work out which colour they belong to, is just get another little grip seal bag and I'll put all these spares into that. And uh, then if I do need them, I can colour match if I do run out of a colour. Otherwise, they'll just go in my jar with all my different spares in. Because um, otherwise, you know, there's quite a few different colours there that have escaped. And uh, I can't, I don't want to sit and work out which one belongs in which bag and open the bags so yeah that will happen with these okay pop those in there let me just grab a little grip seal bag this is one of my lovely grip seal bags from the wonderful chris who brought me a huge amount which are brilliant, really good quality. They're actually better quality than the ones that the kids come in. But that just means now, if I have run out of A colour, I can always just dip into that spares bag there. Okay, so what is that? Right, let me just grab my labels and we'll get organised. So these are my labels from uh, Rebecca, uh, Add More Zest. Uh, they are available on her website. You can obviously do your own, but I do like using these and they're all die cut as well. So it saves fiddling about trying to peel stickers off and getting bits off backs and things. Can't be doing with it. Can't be doing with it. Okay, so let me have a look. So we'll call this one giraffe taxi that's if I can spell taxi <laughs> giraffe taxi you need two for each one to go on the drills and one to go on the canvas I mean it's up to you how you do your um, canvases and everything but this is how I work mine out uh, and then I'm going to put where shall I put this will it go on the top yeah, it will just go above it. So it's RF5538 is the canvas number. I've started using canvas numbers quite a bit at the moment uh, so that I can relate them up to one another because not that I've got another one with a giraffe in a taxi, but you never know, you might get an odd different <laughs> one. <laughs> if you've called one, say, flower, you might have more than one that's a flower. And it's from A Z Q S D, and it's a square, and it's thirty five colours. I do like to put how many colours are in it. So if I'm digging through my canvases, uh, rather than having to look at this, I can just look at my label and think, 
oh yeah i've got a spare box that uh, that will fit in i've got one that's got 30 colors 35 colors so yeah i'll get that one kitted up um that's just my thinking behind it anyway <laughs> okay so that will now go into my folder with all my other 30 by 40 canvases and this will go into my box of drills with those 30 by 40 canvases okay so we've had a, a bit of a disappointing drill pen which i thought was going to be something new to show you and it's not it's just a drill pen um with a blue cover <laughs> i think they did come in different colors as well and we've got a giraffe in a taxi okay well just a quick video so i hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me if you have a thumbs up it's always much appreciated and if you want to come back and see more and see what i get up to next then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up then you'll be notified when any of my next videos come up so i do hope to see you all again soon thanks for stopping by Bye for now.